This is Angus Hawkins from philosophyoffreedom.com. And this morning, um, I'm going to be speaking to a Swiss artist, Denis, who is working with the philosophy of freedom, um, making it uh, the key ideas of philosophy of freedom in a more accessible format, it's like uh, using art, which I think is a really interesting idea. So I'm really looking forward to uh, speaking to him. So uh, Dennis, um, he gives guided tours around the Goetheanum. Uh, he gives introductions to the history and the present state of the Goetheanum. He's also knowledgeable about uh, Rudolf Steiner's biography and is also familiar with the essential, uh, the foundational thoughts of anthroposophy. So we can carry on looking here. Um, this is that famous quote. Uh, Rudolf Steiner was asked one time, what would be left of your work in a thousand years? Um, and for you Philosophy of Freedom fans, um, <laughs> the news is good, okay? Excels the philosophy of I hate. So nothing but the philosophy of freedom, because in her, i.e. the book, everything is contained. If somebody uh, realizes the of act of freedom that is mapped out or that is uh, signposted in the philosophy of freedom, he, she will find the whole content of anthroposophy. Sounds like our kind of a guy for philosophy of freedom, doesn't he? Um, here is in French, she studied in Stra Strasbourg, uh, did architecture in 1978. Um, and his work was titled The Notion of Ecology, um, uh, according to Rudolf Steiner. And then he describes a little bit what he's like as a person. Um, he does exactly the same thing probably here in Germany. No, it's slightly different. Um, uh, Dennis's uh, mother tongue is French, obviously, um, in Switzerland, French and German is spoken, depending on where you live. Um, here we can see some of his work. Talking about the um, importance of the year 2000 and what, the, what humanity will experience. Uh, here, very interesting. I, this is the first time I've read this. Okay. Um, here he's highlighted. Ah, he's qu quoting Steiner. This isn't Denis. Okay. Um, so Steiner, uh, we will see appear in from America a type of for, a prohibition of thinking, not direct but indirect. A key, a, a law that will have the goal of repressing all type of individual thinking. Uh, there we see it. I mean, if that doesn't describe pretty well what we see developing across the world. Um, yeah, I think it speaks a very clear language. These are his uh, flyers and uh, guided tours. What will happen when we do absolutely nothing? Can our freedom continue? Welcome. Is it Dennis or Denis? I imagine it's Denis. In fact, my name is Denis. Yeah. A French name. Mm -hmm. And uh, some English people or some German people, they, they cannot speak Denis. No. It's got an S on the end, you have to say Dennis. <laughs> they say Dennis, yeah? Some, yeah, yeah. some write it also with two ends, but journey one, yeah? Okay. So, uh, Denis, tell us a little bit. You, I know you live in Switzerland, um, mm -hmm. and you've got a deep passion about, uh, a deep passion for Steiner and his work. Um, tell me a little bit about what you, what, what you do in Switzerland in relationship to the philosophy of freedom. Yes, in fact, I'm, uh, I, I was born in, French, in France, I, mm -hmm. I'm French, 
And uh, that's the, the part, the east of France, which is connected to Germany and Switzerland. Yeah. And then I, I study architecture in Strasbourg. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I, I was looking for some job and I, was, I came to, to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. I found a job as architect in, in, in Switzerland. And, and had, did you know anything about Steiner or the philosophy of freedom at this stage, or is he still sort of like something, somebody waiting to appear in your life? With 19, I, uh, I was looking for some friends for my birthday. Yeah. And at this birthday, I, there was a long, long woman, a lady. Tall, tall woman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, she, yeah, she came to, to my birthday. And uh, three years later, I married her. So, and she was connected with uh, Demeter, with, with, with uh, Anthroposophy and so on. So, so you meet Steiner Anthroposophy when you're 19 years old. Tell us the next phase of your story. I was about 20. I, I take a book from Steiner. Which yeah. one? Erkenntnistheorie. Uh -huh, okay, so a theory of knowledge, yeah? Knowledge. And I decide to find where Steiner makes a mistake. I think it's not possible that he was able to make pedagogic, that made everything. It yeah. must be one man with a big uh, possibility to speak. Yeah. And all the people. So I came to this point. Mm -hmm. uh, you I wanted to challenge, check his authenticity. <laughs> so you read the book. Yeah. Uh, I on the sides I wrote uh, prove that. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Yeah. So so I give me a program, different point in this book where I I don't understand it, but in, in time I will do it. And relative um, and then this um, uh, my 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 wife, she was connected with um, with an old lady, very old lady, 90 years old, something like that. We make some beautiful garden. Yeah. The, we were there and she gives me the philosophy of freedom, an old edition. Mm -hmm. German or French? No, old German. Very old, yes. Mm -hmm. I think from 1930 or something like that. Yeah. As so all my time in, in, in my study in architecture, in, in, in Strasbourg, six years, I had yeah. really time to speak and uh, to, to develop ideas and thoughts. Yeah. And my wife in this time was working in the uh, Rudolf Steiner in the Waldorf School. Yeah. The Waldorf School for Strasbourg. And so I have many contacts with her, with, 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 no, no, with her, with, with, with her the, colleagues. Yes. Yeah. Connected with the, with the school. Yeah. And, um, so I developed in my, in fact, I developed uh, for myself uh, always a way on one side is anthroposophy and on the other side, it is this world of thinking people and the philosophy of freedom um, was very important. Yeah. I remember one day there came a man and he told me that all this anthroposophy you don't need if you go direct to intuition, mm -hmm. three levels, uh, imagination. Yeah. And, uh, so he said to me, you have not to lose your time to, to begin with imagination and so on. Go directly to intuition. And he told me, don't lose your time. Go direct there. Yeah. yeah. And so I... And you listened to him? No, <laughs> it was only impressions, you know, impressions. Yeah. Yeah. I was not, in fact, I was not really studying philosophy of freedom. I just know there is something like that. Yeah. yeah. And then the next point where it, philosophy of freedom has a very important um, fact in my life is um, when I had to go to the military, mm -hmm. to go to the service. A yeah? national so service, yeah. I had three days where I have to be... I uh, don't know how we say. Uh, so you do the uh, physical test. Can, physical uh, test, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a psychologist, I was 
I, I, I tell him, you know, I don't want to make military. I don't want to go prepare me for, to do a war. It's not my, my task. Yeah. And I, he said to me, you have another solution. And, and I have the philosophy of freedom. I say, I show him the book, say, look, I have a book. And this book say, you can be free. Yeah. He as a psychologist, philosophist, and I ask him, do you know this book? He say, no. And I, I, <laughs> I say, you have to read it because then you have solution. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I study I study architecture, but uh, the architecture from the point of view of, of, of art. And then I decide to, to become a teacher. Mm -hmm. And then I make the schools for teaching. Uh, so that was, and that was in Waldorf education. You did that, the, the teacher training for Waldorf education or just normal? normal. Yeah. No. yeah. Yeah. But you know, you know, I, I was in, I was in Donna. So I mm -hmm. lived in France, but close to Donna. So I, I went each day to your Donna. Yeah. And uh, then 1980, I began in a Waldorf school. Uh huh. In France or Switzerland? No, Switzerland. In Switzerland. Mm -hmm. So they they engaged me for French, and I yeah. all said, "Okay, I'm doing French, but I, in fact, I'm an artist. I want to also make painting and drawing and so." On. Yeah. Yes. Then I was teaching 17 years. Mm hmm. State school, yeah. They they make some um, some new things. Uh, they they in the public school in Basel, and it was for me the possibility to go in because they was looking for new teacher. They are not so not so narrow, and yeah. uh, so I I began with this school. Yeah. Yes, and then uh, so I, and so bringing it back to our central theme, it's like the philosophy of freedom. How does you go to art school? You know, you've got philosophy of freedom is a, is an important part of your life. How how do the two connect? The connect is very easy. So I leave all these people who was really Waldorf teacher, and they begin. Uh, Mostly their sentence with Steiner had das auch schon gesagt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, so, it is. So uh, when, when, you know, when you have no authority and uh, you say something and no one believes you, you say, but Steiner has gesagt. Yeah, yeah. So Steiner said the same, yes. Yeah? So when, when Steiner was speaking about vaccine, and Steiner was speaking about healthy uh, school, every, when you... When when you yeah when you need enough you you find this. yeah it's a, yeah instead of yeah I mean it, it it is interesting how there's this level of uh, fanaticism in the sense that so like it becomes the only point of reference a little bit like like extremist uh, or like uh, extreme Christians or somebody like that where everything is only true if it's in the Bible but for anthroposophists I recognise what you're describing there a uncritical approach to thinking and a, a failure to really develop us like a, an in-depth of understanding of what he was trying to communicate i i recognize that strongly so you reacted against that so i and in this time it was for me 20 years for 20 years until my to be retired 20 mm -hmm. years where i have just distance distancy connection to anthroposophy Mm -hmm. But I was living in Dorna at the Goetheanum. Okay? <laughs> the meeting and and see the people and so. But uh, I go my way, connect mm -hmm. with Anthroposophy and go my way. And, yeah. a, a genuine ethical individualist. <laughs> yes, in a, in a way. In a yeah. way. <laughs> and then uh, and then the next point is. Uh, 2017 point so because five years ago yes i get retired mm -hmm. and um, in this time there was this exhibition oh i showed you the book this one thing okay yeah yeah 
I'll, uh, I'll put it up on screen and you can talk about it for a little bit. Yeah, um, um, in this, uh, this picture, there, there is a lecture from Rudolf Steiner where he said, um, 1917, you see, mm -hmm. uh, written in blue. This one, if we were to Beispiel, yeah? Uh, yes. I, for instance, I would like to make picture about my philosophy of freedom. Yeah. And uh, it's possible to do it, but no one would read it because the people today, they dress it. The people are- They dress wanted, up, yeah. They, they want only to have written things. Yeah. You're, you're reminding me of another interesting thing that Steiner said. You might know more about it, but he talked about how film was particularly uh, well adapted for describing certain aspects of uh, anthroposophical thinking. Uh, it's very interesting you're bringing up the art here, and I've heard this also in other contexts. Yeah. So, oh, so, so bring it, bring it to life in pictures. Oh, that's yeah. interesting. And you see, you see on the back, it's written Rudolf Steiner, Grafische Gestaltung und Illustrative Kunst. And the, you've got the sure. lecture date, yeah, 1917. Yeah, 1917. And so 2017 was not only my, the time where I was retired, but it was also the time where I, um, where it was 100 years after this uh, moment of Steiner make this, this lecture. Yeah. This lecture, you cannot find it because it is not published. It is not in the GEA. It's not in the... All right. No. It's think... only... You, you can have on a, uh, some uh, manuscript or you can have... Um, I make... A, I had a copy. Mm-hmm. The copy of um, of this lecture, yeah, I get it in the in the library, but it's not it's not published. But I get it in the library of the Goetheanum. I made a copy of it. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So you had access to it, even though it's not in the uh, in the Gesamtausgabe. Yeah. And so I, I I was working with this one, but they take just these uh, five lines uh, out of this lecture. Yeah. They decide. To make an experience, to make a, to make an exhibition, yeah, building, yeah, and uh, that was the was what I mm, um, I have I have always the idea that when I when I'm reading something I don't I don't write on the side I make little pictures, yeah, and so I decide to go to this exhibition and to bring something. Mm -hmm. You see by these little pictures, it's not really, how can I say, it's, um, they do it, that's nice, but uh, not really serious. But <laughs> myself, I take it very serious. It, uh, it, you're, you're touching on a really interesting theme here. It's like the problem of art to communicate, like, how do you use art to really educate? Because if you have attractive pictures, I'm just, for example, this Adriana Beutler. I mean, I look at the picture, I think that's, I, I like, aesthetically, it's very pleasing. Yeah. But it doesn't communicate to my thinking. Click on her. Yeah. It's, as you say, it's really, so you see that, for instance, two people speaking together and she tried to find something, but I don't have the idea that it's an illustration of the philosophy of freedom. It, exactly. What is it the artist trying to communicate? Uh, no, go back, zurück. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and take my, my name again. Uh, where, then, uh, where, where are you? No. Oh, there you are. Uh, yeah, put this one. Yeah. So, and look at the next one, the next picture. Yeah, that is this one you find. So yeah, I, I, that was the one that I highlighted that I really liked. Tell, tell the audience what, what's going on here. You'll have to you translate the German as well. 
Yes, in the in the philosophy of freedom, in the beginning, uh, they say that the idea of the freedom of the will, of the will, of the human will, um, there is a, a point of discussion. One of them, they are pointing, that's very important. The other one, they want to keep it. The other one find it very funny. Or the other one uh, think uh, must be- Yeah, you're a bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a little picture I made. This is very old. This picture is, um, I don't know, uh, probably 20 years or something like that. Yeah, so it's very yeah. old. Uh, but uh, I, I had some uh, some ones uh, like this one, which were also um, exposed. And you when you go down, when you go down, you see the other one. OK, let's go down. Yeah. So this is what's this one about? The freedom is not only to take um, val uh, choice to make choice. a choice. Yeah, like a choice. And so I put a. Uh, that's out of the philosophy of freedom. I put that, that's the first. That's the first chapter, isn't it? The first chapter, yes. Yeah. In his book, uh, David Strauss ha wrote a book, and his the new the new uh, belief. Yeah. Yeah. And, and if uh, I have understood it correctly, that book was quite influential when it came out. It was very popular in Germany. Yeah, it yeah. was very popular in Germany. Yes. And um, it's a pity that Rudolf Steiner, um, in his philosophy of freedom, um, when he speak about von David Strauss, he is not very nice with him. When you look at the, yeah. at the book, the, all the book, I had I had the possibility to look inside the book more than the, what Steiner was speaking about. Yeah, and uh, he was really trying to find. He, he was a priest. And he want to find out what is the new religion, in what the people are. Uh, uh, um, believing. People were looking. People had to like recognize what Nietzsche was saying was true. That we, God is dead. We killed him, but we need something. Is 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 that what you're saying? Important for me is when you say uh, Strauss or you say Spencer, you have no idea. When you're re just reading the book, you need to have a picture. Yeah. Sometimes a picture, when you see this man, which looks like Spencer, huh? uh, in my drawing, and he's putting his uh, hand his on the table on his book. Yeah. yeah. Uh, for me, it's really um, uh, yes. It is. It is really a man who said, "Why." Are you thinking about uh, about uh, freedom? I know because I am studying, and my life, and I'm very well known. I think it. You don't need to have uh, to to think about philosophy uh, about uh, freedom. Yeah. Uh, I know that um, my analy analysis said no. It's it's not a it's not a subject. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. to have this this sentence of Steiner. In a picture, you need to have a picture. I want to introduce a little bit more about your question. Also, it's about the um, the importance of the pictures mm -hmm. and why Rudolf Steiner in this lecture said it's important that we illustrate my philosophy of freedom. And uh, one time, I was in. Um, in a visit, mm -hmm. pharmacy institute in Basel. Yeah. The man said something very important for me. He said, as the Bible was print, there was no picture inside. Mm -hmm. And people which make picture to the Bible, they thought they are not really intelligent. They are only understanding the picture like children's. Yeah. They, they say the important things is what is written. And he said, it was really interesting, he said, when you want to describe a plant or anatomy, yeah. you can, you need to have pictures. A scientist, a real scientist, need pictures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Because one of the things when I'm working with this type of material is I am also not on paper, but in my mind, trying to create pictures so that I can remember. And one of the things that I consistently notice is so the importance of finding a picture that represents abstract concepts like freedom, like a, a, a ridicule uh, that you see the lady in the in the in the bottom right. These type of pictures, exactly as you say, abstract concepts need pictures so that you can then start working with these ideas within yourself. Um, very interesting uh, that, uh, that that comes out there because how else, without any words, how are you going to communicate the idea of true freedom? Yep, that is yeah. Yeah. Yep. And that, that is a point. The most important point for me, the most yeah. important point is that sometimes a picture, when, when, when I say I don't know a, a rose, yeah, Mm -hmm. I have to make a picture of a rose yeah. to explain you in different books how the rose is. You, you never had the picture. Yeah. Yeah? The picture is important. Yeah. But only to say, good day, my name is Dennis. Yeah? You cannot draw it. No. So, you, so the, the, the graphic, uh, the, graphic um, uh, so the comics and, the, and this one, that's something very new. So you have, you have a text, you have something to read, yeah. have pictures. Yeah. And it's very popular with young people, especially. And it's like I'm thinking about manga comics and this type of thing. I mean, we've had comics for a long time, but it's, it's has, it, it is a very popular within culture as well, isn't it? What you're describing. And when Steiner said, when Steiner said in 1917, we have to make pictures to my philosophy of freedom. They, they don't print this lecture because they think it's important. They don't print it. Wow. So we're on page six. Yes. Yeah. This one is not the best one. As you see on the top, there are three, three lines. Huh? Yeah. And that's the beginning. That is a question, yeah? Mm-hmm. And so you, you see a man which is coming from the nature. Uh, in, the, in his back, he has, uh, he has the nature. Mm -hmm. And he's crossing a, a road and he's going to a, to a town. Yeah? Yeah? And so it's for me, that's the beginning. The, the man is coming from nature and he's walking through the industrial thing on the side. It's a symbolic picture. Yeah. yeah. Walking, yeah? that's the way. And then you have the different pictures. These one are not good. It's just um, just a sketch. But the one said that uh, the man is only free when he is thinking. Yeah. And the girl, and the girl said, "What in interest? I'm more interested if the man is free in his will. Can he mm -hmm. do it?" And uh, then is a man which is explaining something on the question. And then the, had, I ask you a question. Yeah. I this ask one, you a yeah. question. Yeah, is a is a human beings free or 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 uh, submit uh, um, and um, uh, entertain entertain no and uh, so sumi as uh, subjected to subjected subjected yeah yeah and that is the first question of philosophy of freedom that is that that is really Steiner write that yeah that is the yeah. question. Yeah. So it's a little picture. And then you have a group. On one side, you have people, they say, um, uh, we, are, we are connected to nature. And on the yeah. other side, you have people say, yes, but freedom uh, is very important. Yeah. It's so what I, makes us human. Yeah. Yeah. So that is. Um, uh, yeah, so it, your, your, your goal is to. But work through all 14 chapters of the philosophy of freedom. It's like with, with this approach. Um, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's, that's, you know, you know, that's a lot of work. How's it going? You know, I'm 60, 69, and I talk, no, I'm, I'm no, uh, since uh, 1917, it's five years now. I'm, 
I'm on this work. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it will be quicker with the time, but um, no, my idea is to, to bring the first chapter first, because this one is, I think it's uh, very important because it's in the introduction. Yeah. And to, to take the, the last one, individuality and group. Yeah, okay, yes. Yes, the last one. And uh, in between putting, um, I will perhaps beginning with some some um, some sides, some pages, and not not all, you know, taking a very long time and then put inside some pictures. But um, in this page, I'm beginning to to make uh, on the on the other part. You have the. Uh, what Steiner said in black, yeah, and what Strauss said, uh -huh. yeah, in blue. No. Because when you read normally the philosophy of freedom, most of the text there are no difference. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I don't know. I don't know if Steiner is speaking or if it's uh, another man speaking. Yeah, yeah. And it's one of the things that makes it difficult to read the philosophy read. of freedom. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And so I put now this picture. There is a, there's a woman speaking with the man. Yeah. yeah. And uh, she's a modern people, modern woman. And she said, I think that um, that uh, that is a question of of today. We have we, it's not a question for today. Is that what you mean? Isn't it? Isn't it a question from, ah, yeah. mm -hmm. for for today? For no, yeah. it's mm -hmm. not a, not one hundred years ago or one hundred fifty. It's no. Yeah? yeah, it's a very topical question. Yeah, and yeah. if we if you will speak about uh, ethic or moral uh, value, you have to begin with the question of the freedom, isn't That's it? That's right. This is bit here. This one, huh? yeah. And so I put I put real person or, or your person with their speaking, yeah. And then you uh, can you go a little bit down? Yeah, yeah. So then is man with the with the red with the red um, <laughs> the red uh, the tie, yeah. Tie, yes. And someone said me. Uh, he, the the red tie is Trump. I say no, I don't. Think that. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to use orange hair. <laughs> yes, yes. But, uh, but it is a, a political answer. And he said, for the the modern people, the question of freedom uh, cannot be the most important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. David Strauss, 1972, uh, spoke about it. And, and here I put something different. That is not in what Strauss, the, the person uh, on, the, on the backside is Strauss. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this is one he said, say a little bit different from, from the, the philosophy of freedom. Steiner doesn't, doesn't speak about what he is speaking here. Because Strauss was a, his idea was that um, um, the human beings act like animals; they live in groups, and right. the, the base of this group is the family, the state, and uh, there are some some rules. And yeah. if you if you are not, uh, if your your family is not okay, living with good rules, um, the 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 social possible there is no social poss possibilities, mm. and uh, if the the organization of the of the politic is not going on, it's not possible. And so he said, you see that in these in these. Uh, um, in these uh, things, um, you cannot have the question of freedom. Freedom has no, no sense if you speak about family. You have only duties. 
Yeah, exactly. And there's an there's an authority over you which is saying that certain things aren't possible. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. And and the other political uh, other side, the other modern. If we're speaking from from uh, value, yeah, social value. This one, yes, yeah, social value, social or healthy. We cannot uh, look what the 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 what the needs of a freedom from some people individuals that's right yeah. Yeah, yeah and this is a message that's coming across loud and clear in uh in the last last year isn't it that is very it. very 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 topical yeah. so wow i um denis it's been it really has been interesting uh seeing how you've connected both so like a, it's like a, a, a desire of Steiner's um, into um, what was amazing is that nobody else has been doing this nobody's even like thought of doing it um, and it reminds me we got a question our very first question and answer ses session uh, last week on uh, philosophy of freedom a person asked it's like uh, Steiner said that in a hundred years, the philosophy of freedom will be need to be renewed, mm -hmm. and um, it, it is very interesting. This question of how do perhaps there's not just like one version of renewal, but but certainly what you're describing here is so that it's like a, a different way of approaching. It's something that's more adapted to it's like where we are in our development a hundred year. 100 years later and there is a parallel with what we're doing on on, on philosophy of freedom uh, .com in that we want to try and help people we want to make what is a difficult book more accessible so that the profound truths hidden within it aren't as so like hidden behind who's talking here and what what perspective are they representing like helping people so like find their way more clearly uh, a, a more navigable path towards the key insights of the philosophy of freedom so it's very very interesting um thank you so much thank you so much for 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 sharing that with us mm -hmm. yeah. so where um we've we've seen where people can can get in contact with you um if they they want to know more about your work or uh, and that type of thing it is what 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 are, what are your own so like uh, wishes and desires with regards to this this project you've started so the first thing i think that uh, you know um just now speaking about the technical part um i send you also some documents about that, you know. I I am doing it like that. Mm -hmm. So so it is the pictures are so, you, yeah? yeah. And then uh, I wrote on this plastic, yeah. And so it's easy. It's easy. You translate to... it to Spanish, English, German, yeah. Italian. And so I need your help. If you if you are interested enough to to translate, <laughs> putting ah. putting the text which is on the upper part, yeah. Um, I've a, got I've got a, 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 I've got an eclectic group of friends. So I've got like native Spanish speakers. So I could do the rough draft, and they could work through the correction to make sure it's proper proper Spanish. That would be a possibility. I also have a lot of communication with Italians. So again, I could uh, work with people on that. And I'm sure we, the, the, the type of fr friendship we've got, I think that makes that possible. Obviously English, there's no question there. German, you, you can cover the German and we can look at it together if you, if you want to. But let, let's add something else there that is like, if there's anybody that's watching this video that actually sees the value of the work that you are doing that speaks Russian, Polish, whatever, Portuguese, all of these major languages 
Um, I mean, please do get in contact with Philosophy of Freedom to, to um, or, or directly, probably it's better to go directly to you, isn't it, Dennis? So let's say you're interested in helping you do the translation. But I mean, this has been, this really has been wonderful on multiple levels. Um, thank you so much for, for taking your time to, to come and speak to us. Uh -huh. Okay. See you later. Thanks. Have a so <laughs> my camera's like doing funny things for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's funny Thanks because you're always looking very high. You you have the camera very high. Uh, no, it's actually the camera is at this level. But you're looking very high. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I think what it does is it mirrors. Uh, it's like yeah. Oh, yeah, but that's the, over there on the camera. That makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Look after yourself. Have a nice time, time in Egypt. And when you know better with the internet, then we'll make contact again. Okay. We see, we see us Monday. Ah, that's right. Yes. In the study group. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye.